Schaefer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Saturday, October 8th. We're preparing for the 18th Sunday after Pentecost. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. Let's pray. Almighty and most merciful God, your bountiful goodness fills all creation. Keep us safe from all that may hurt us, that whole and well in body and spirit, we may with grateful hearts accomplish all that you would have us do. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. A reading from Gospel of Luke, chapter 5. While Jesus was in one of the towns, a man came to him who was covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he bowed down with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. So he stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him. Then he ordered the man to tell no one, but commanded him, Go and show yourself to the priest, and bring the offering for your clean cleansing, as Moses commanded, as a testimony to them. But the news about him spread even more, and large crowds were gathering together to hear him, and to be healed of their illnesses. Yet Jesus himself frequently withdrew to the wilderness and prayed. Word of God. Word of life. Thanks be to God. Now that we've dwelt in God's word, let's take some time to pray together. If you're comfortable doing so, I hope you'll pray out loud with me. It's good to lift our voices together to the Lord. Even though we're separated in time and in space, we're united by technology and in the power of the Spirit. So let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving health again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above, and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, have mercy. For this holy moment, and for all who offer in it their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvests that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us. For those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for the Good Shepherd and all those touched by its ministries, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us, and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. That'll do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us today. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org. And while you're there, why not make a gift to support our ongoing ministry? Just choose Donate from our menu. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.